everyone. Happy Friday. I hope that you had a good week and thank you for the great response on my blazer video. Oh man, watching that thing back, I'm going to get rid of a lot more. I am. It's, I tell you, I always say if you really want to check out your style, your makeup, your body, your clothes, everything, make a video and then watch it back. And things are so different than when you are just looking in the mirror. So anyway, I was just looking at my makeup and I think I'm liking it. I've actually had this on for a while now and it is the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Now this is supposed to make your skin look radiant by up to 285%, long lasting pollution defense, and undetectable coverage improves the look of the skin with each wear, boosts hydration, skin looks plumper, skin looks more even, and the colors that I got, I had to guess, of course, I ordered these from Beautylish, and I got five neutral and six neutral. I probably shouldn't have done this, but I put a little bit of both on. I started off with the six neutral, and let me swatch it for you. I do like that they're in this like little squeezy tube. And then I went on the center of my face with the lighter color, which is the five neutral. So here they are, six on top and five underneath. And let me try to make them an even amount there. So you can see there is quite a bit of difference between the two. Well, you know, what I want to know now is what does seven neutral look like? Because even as they go up, I think the tone changes a little bit. But I really, if I had to say which one I liked more, I can't say yet. Let me try the lighter one first. But I really liked both of them. They have great coverage. I would say it's up there with that Dior. If you have tried the Dior, the new Skin Glow, I would say it's comparable to that. But like I said, I am just using these for the first time, so I can't give a review, but I can say that they have good coverage. I've got my mirror here. Good coverage and a really good glow. And oh, another thing, let me go wash this off my hand real quick. Okay, I was gonna tell you another thing is I have used the new face now twice. I used it yesterday morning and I used it this morning. And I haven't used the stuff that it comes with because I emailed Rodial to see if I could use their sculpting gel because I've always loved that sculpting gel. And when I saw it underneath my cabinet, I even love the way it comes out. It has one of those things that you push and it puts the exact right amount out. So anyway, I emailed them and they said I absolutely could use that collagen sculpting gel with the new face. So that's what I've been doing. And I started out on the highest setting and I had to back it down to about number three. Ooh, gives me chills thinking about it because it really does give you a little, um, not, I would not say jolt. It's like a little pinprick feeling, but you can really feel it working. And I was really encouraged by all of your comments when I bought that. I would say, I would say like 90% of the people that I ask about this thing say that it works. The only thing is you have to be consistent. This is what I was noticing this morning. It feels good. I don't think it's gonna be something, it doesn't take very long. One of you, thank you so much, sent me a video of the New Face Instagram. And they had, I don't know if it's the owner or somebody that works there, a representative doing her face. And so that helped me a lot. It's not complicated at all. You just go up each section and you wait for the beep, you know, three times and it's easy and it kind of feels good and it's just I, I think i'm gonna like it so i will report back on that too um, when i was putting my order in with beautylish i decided to get another one of the airbrush flawless finish powders because i've really enjoyed that lately as far as my little 
shiny areas. I probably could use some now, but I don't have a brush up here. But it's number two, and I always go back to this. It just seems like, unless you want something that's more luminous, this is just a good T-zone. Let me just powder. Like I always have shinies up here and then right here. But I've hit pan on my other one, so I decided to get this fancy one. It's for the Lunar New Year, I think. I'm not sure, it was just a fancy one. And then this has been something awesome. I just got it yesterday, but as soon as Brooke and I looked at it, we knew it was gonna be a good one. It is the Sorme Treatment Cosmetics, which I, I don't know if that's like a mineral makeup, but anyway, it's the limited edition palette in warm hues, which that name could throw you off. But one of my subscribers that actually has a channel here on YouTube, Kim, she had it in one of her videos. I think her son had given it to her for Christmas. And when I saw her show it, I think she even used it in a tutorial. I knew that it was gonna be something that I would like. But this one, let me see what you're seeing. Yes, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So pretty, I've got it on today along with, I started with my shadow stick in the crease, my naked Birkin, that's just, that's how I start every day and then I decide, do I want any more? And so I used this in the crease. I used this along the lash line. I used a little bit of this in my inner crease, kind of like right here just to create a shadow. And then I used that darker color along my lash line. And then I used, let's see, I think it was this one. Yeah, this one on my inner corner. And it is so pretty and it comes with a great big mirror and I just really like it. So thank you so much to Kim for suggesting that because I love it. This, I was so happy to show you these. These are from Zara and this is multifaceted. Besides these being so pretty to me, I did something different. A lot of times when I order shoes from Zara, they feel too big but I have always been an eight. I'm just a US eight, no matter what. But I think these, were they sold out of the eight? For some reason, something made me order the seven and a half. I think they were sold out and I had to order the seven and a half. And I remember thinking, well, a lot of times our shoes are too big for me anyway. So I ordered them and they are perfect and they are size 38, which is an eight. And normally I get size 39 and I just always thought, well, maybe that's just how Zara does it. But these fit so nicely. I'm gonna try them on for you. And are they not the prettiest brown, like a neutral brown? I'm really drawn to that color all of a sudden, even with black. And these have like the black kind of edges. I just think that they look very expensive. I think they were like 60 or $65. And I think that they're gonna be a great, great shoe for the summer. I also ordered a skirt because I'm gonna do a skirt styling video coming up soon. I've ordered several different, you know, I already had slip skirts, but I didn't have a couple of the styles that I've always loved to wear, especially when I was a young mom and when I was a teenager and growing up, I always loved wearing skirts and so I've ordered a couple of different silhouettes so we can style those. And so I wanted to try these on for you and these go so well with that skirt. It was on clearance. If it's still available, I'll link it below, but it's beautiful. The color of it goes so well with these. And then along with that, I ordered this handbag. I'm sure you guys have seen these become popular in the last couple of years. I think that Lueve is the most popular. And I thought about getting that one, but I just, you know, after you see it so many times, it kind of loses the, I just wasn't crazy about it. So when I was looking, I think it's when I got the belt, the frame belt from Oliver, and then it didn't fit. And then I looked on the frame website, I saw this bag and it has their, would help if I took this off. It has their little, I don't know, it's not like a logo, but their design. This same little design is on their, I believe it's on their handbag. 
and their other handbags, the ones that are their leather ones, and it's on the belts. And look at how this is so much smaller. I just loved it. And it's not, wasn't crazy expensive, 248. I first tried to order it from Nordstrom and I ordered it and they canceled it. So it must have been like sold out. And then I went and ordered it from, I think I had to order it from Neiman Marcus. Look at how cute that is. And let me take the stuffing out. So you can see the true, it comes with a dust bag, but I just think this is gonna be a great bag for the summer. I love that look. I love it, especially with dressing. My style changes a lot in the summer. It's, I just, it totally does. I kind of just, in the winter and fall, I am making it through. I love blazers, moto jackets, boots, faux furs, and so I try to kind of concentrate on those because those are what I like, but I generally don't like my look that much in the winter, I just don't. So, but the summer is just like my time, and I just know this is gonna look good with sundresses and no matter what, and I just loved the combination. I mainly love the size. I just felt like it wasn't too big. Now let's try on these shoes for you before we do my outfit of the day because I kind of have something to ask you. Let me go look at them. They are just so perfect. They're beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so today my outfit is the Gap jeans. These are good jeans. I have bought many pairs of jeans in the last years of my life and in the last little bit. And I can say most jeans, or ha about half of them, are kind of disappointing. It's like, they're okay, but none really thrill me. I, from the minute I have tried these on in the black and in this gray, I have loved them. They're high-waisted, they're ultra-high, but they don't, they aren't quite as retro-looking for some reason. I don't know if it's the length of the zipper or what it is. I feel like they fit good in the behind, and you know, skinny jeans are out, but I think I look better in skinny jeans. I have not gotten rid of my skinny jeans, and I will still wear them, but this is the alternative. It's the straight. So they give you that straight look, but all it is is they're just not straight down to your calf and stuff like that. So I actually like these shoes with this. That's another thing is I'm not the biggest casual shoe person. I like wearing heels, I just do. I know I look better in heels, but this is the debate today. Should I wear these shoes, which are my normal everyday Uggs, this is what I feel good in. Oh, and my hoodie is actually from Everlane. It is a cashmere hoodie and I love it because if you're like me and you wear your hair down a lot, the hoodie can bug you because it keeps your hair from laying like flat. This is the perfect answer to that. It's cashmere, it feels amazing. I've just got on my Honey Love, tank under it for a good layer and the sleeves are nice and long i rolled them up but so i love this i'm really excited about it. this is the first time i've worn it and so i was thinking about wearing these shoes i have not worn these yet and i don't know why because i love them and i love the way they look on other people so i'm thinking about wearing these today but i thought you could tell me which one you like better these are the ultra mini Uggs. And the only reason I think I haven't worn them is they're not easy. You have to break them in. They're not easy to put on and take off, but I have heard that once you break them in, you will love them. And my mom gave, or my mom and dad gave Brooke a pair for Christmas and she loves them. So I'm thinking I'm gonna wear these today, try to get them broken in. So let me put these on. So here we go. I see why I haven't worn them because they were not easy to put on, but they are cute. They are cute. I mean, they're definitely a look. Anytime you can leave a little bit of your ankle bone out, that's a good look. That's just a, a girly thing, a feminine thing. And they are cute. I do like them. And boy, they're so comfortable because I haven't like mushed down all my fur yet. So I know that I'm going to enjoy these. I'm going to wear these today just for something different, but 
I am just not gonna fight this feeling anymore about these Uggs. I, I, if you put the cost per wear, it doesn't, you know, the cost is not that much for me. I wear them constantly. Okay, and for the rest of my accessories, I have on my black castle ring. A lot of you say that you're just getting into Dean Davidson and you are debating between the plaza ring and the castle ring. I would say both are iconic, but the castle ring, you feel it more. It's not uncomfortable, but you feel it more. This gets a lot more compliments, attention, but you know, it's a much higher profile. You know, it's a signature ring of his, but so is the plaza. And I also like the signature. This one will just get more attention. It just will. The other ones are a little bit more comfortable. So it just depends on what you're going for. If you're going for a big statement ring, I think this one, if you're going for a little bit lower profile statement ring, I would either get the signature or the plaza. And then I have on some of his studs today. I actually wanted to wear the knockout studs in Onyx, but I couldn't find one. It's just gotten knocked around in my jewelry drawer. And I've got on my U necklace that I never take off. And my nail polish is Cajun Shrimp. So I hope you guys saw something that you liked. I will use these and let you know which color I like better and I need to do, um, I want to do soon a video on your undertone, on which, if you should do warm, neutral, or cool tone. I have kind of run the gamut on that. I've never really been a cool tone person, but I have accidentally gotten cool tone. So I want to tell you a few things about that. Hey guys, it's me, I'm back. I meant to show you these things that I received as a gift a few weeks ago, probably, almost a month ago, and I've been meaning every Friday, I keep meaning to tell you about these, and it is the humidifier from, I think it's, is it Levoit? Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been on the spam call list big time lately. I mean, like 20 calls a day, and I block them, and they still call me back. Anyway, this is my humidifier. Now this, this is for my plant lovers and my kitty lovers, kitties and dogs. I see you, I see you. Here, let me put her up here on the table. I think she thinks she has got to be part of every video. Anyway, if you are into plants, you know a big part of, especially these tropical plants like I like, like this is Jungle Boogie and it is doing so well. A couple of things I have done that have really, I think, been great is one, I put grow, I can't see it, but I put grow light bulbs in my lamps and I put those on in the mornings and at night for a little while so that these plants get even more sunshine. But this is my humidifier and I called BS when I was listening to all the plant gurus, but my favorite one, I have to say, is Plantarina. And she would always suggest using a humidifier. I called BS on the grow light bulbs too, but I have seen that it works. I think both the humidifier and the grow light bulbs are helping my plants. One thing cool about this versus a lot of the other humidifiers I've had is this has this little thing in the back where you can put essential oils. So not only do you get the humidity in the air, which is also good for us in the winter time, and this is not sponsored. I, they did send this to me, but it's not sponsored. And if I didn't like it, I wouldn't talk about it. But anyway, so I put distilled water in this and I put it right here in my office and I have seen a difference. I've seen a difference in my plants. So I wanted to tell you about that and it's quiet and it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't take up a bunch of space. And then the other thing, I think I'm going to, okay, <laughs> then this is the next thing. This is my air filter. You guys know a lot of times I would forget to cut it off. Like right now, I think I have forgotten to cut my heater off. Hold on. Yes. I'll list my heater down below too. It's just the same one I have in the bathroom. 
but I just like heat on my feet when it's cold. Even in the summertime, it seems like I like the heater on my feet. Anyway, this is the Lavoit, I'm just gonna say Lavoit Pet Air Filter. And I love it. The main thing I love about it is it's quiet, it's small, and it has all of these different settings where you can just do it like certain amount of time a day. It's got the pet lock on it where like if Chanel walks on it, it won't cut it off. And I've just really enjoyed it. So a lot of you ask me about, I don't think this probably helps with pet hair, but it does help with like pet dander and stuff. And I just like to keep something like this going. I feel like it helps. We have one in our bedroom too, but it's much bigger. Okay. I think that's it. So, and I feel like the lighting is so much better in here. Maybe I should do videos in here. That lighting out there today was harsh. Okay, have a good weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.